the kids are in bed, it's most likely going to start snowing any minute, so I figured why not sit down and do a little evening fireside chat about all things YouTube monetization. As I sit down to record this video, I am currently at 8,500 subscribers on YouTube, or 8,505 to be exact, and I have been monetized for one week shy of exactly six months. And so I thought it would be a great day to sit down and be transparent um, and fill you guys in on exactly how much I made those first six months monetized on YouTube, because I've always found these videos to be very inspiring for me. So I would love to share those numbers with you guys as well. I remember back in the day I would read in blog form actually Karen and Nate's income reports and it was so fun and encouraging to me to just understand what a content creator could be making and since then obviously they've blown up they're so huge and um, I think they've actually since then stopped publishing their income reports probably because you know it seems so out there maybe they catch a lot of flack for it for being tr so transparent and making a lot of money but man they deserve it they've been putting in such hard work for so many years and so I just want to say that's the thing about a YouTube channel as well right you can be putting in all of this work for a long time without seeing results and then overnight you can get your lucky break or um, it can just be this slow and steady climb like which is my experience and so I just wanted to share that with you guys to hopefully encourage you to keep going with your small channel if this is something that you're passionate about and you feel like it is actually kind of life-giving to you and not just a burden so I got monetized on July 19th of this year 2023 and as of recording it is the second week of December in 2023 and so coming up on that six month mark I just wanted to pull back the curtain a little bit and kind of share with you guys exactly you know what's realistic for a small YouTube channel I've always loved the income reports or the milestone reports of those big youtubers out there and while I find those really inspiring sometimes it can be so high and lofty that it's hard to feel like it applies to you as a small creator to me as a small creator and so from a, one small creator to another I just want to be realistic about what those numbers can look like and also just hopefully encourage you to keep going and also maybe give you some strategies on how you can monetize before officially hitting those Google Adsense monetization milestones um, so I want to share all of that with you guys today I also just want to say that if your YouTube channel is just a hobby for you that's awesome. You know, I am excited for you and I want you to keep doing what fills you up and kind of is a creative outlet for you. But for me and the point of my YouTube channel and my online business as a whole is to change my family's lifestyle, right? I think for a lot of us, our goal is to ultimately leave that traditional nine to five job where we're just slaving away working, you know, to make someone else rich. And for me, it's not about being rich myself, but I simply just want to spend time with my family. I want to be with my kids. I actually want to homeschool my kids. I want to travel as a family whenever we want. And what's so awesome about YouTube and just online business in general is that you can work hard in the gaps of your day where you have the time. So for me right now, I'm sitting down to film this video after my kids have gone to bed. And that's so incredible to me. I'm not afraid of working hard. I just need it to be when I can fit it into my day, right? And not in the same exact waking hours as my kids or my husband. And I also love that I can take it on the road. And if we want to go visit my mom, she lives in another state than us, we can go do that for two, three, four weeks at a time. And that is the freedom that an online business or a, something like a YouTube channel can give to you. And so if it's just a hobby for you, these numbers will probably still be interesting. But I just want to be transparent with you guys that for me, that is the end goal. Okay, so I want to talk about my backstory a little bit. And if you want really the nitty gritty details on this, I did a whole video on this when I had been monetized for one month. And I kind of talked about, you know, how long I had been working away at this YouTube channel. So I'm just going to do the very brief version here, but you can always go check out that video for a more in-depth version. But I actually uploaded my first video in January of 2020. I only uploaded a few videos before I let my channel go dormant for over three years. And then by kind of a stroke of luck, a video I had posted two years before when it went mini viral, when it went mini viral. And it wasn't anything crazy, it was about 30,000 views. But for me, that was crazy. It got me 300 subscribers and it kind of reignited that passion for me. So three years later, I came back to this YouTube channel and I kind of changed the whole direction of it. And so in April of this year, I started posting some more as well. And I do still work a, a traditional nine to five. And so um, I haven't been able to be as consistent as I want, but I was able to hit my Google monetization AdSense goal and milestones by July 19th. 
Now, I did do a whole video on how I started making money from my YouTube channel before hitting the official Google AdSense monetization eligibility, and I talk about that in that same 30-day monetize on YouTube video you can check out. So I was already starting to make some smaller amounts of money from my YouTube channel, and then I was eligible for AdSense. I just like to put this out there because so many people are working so hard on their channel or their online business, and it's really hard to keep going and feel motivated to keep going when you're seeing absolutely zero fruits from your labor and so I just put it out there that you can start monetizing through affiliate marketing and through your own digital products through a few other things like that before you are officially eligible for AdSense which is really cool because sometimes when you start seeing even if it's small amounts that kind of money coming in or any sort of positive feedback or whatever it is that your end goal is coming in it allows you to be that much more excited to keep putting out content and keep going with this for the long haul I am I'm super passionate about multiple avenues of monetizing your YouTube channel and also about looking at your YouTube channel as an arm of your online business because ultimately I think that is where people can actually be successful in the long run. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And also I would love if you also check me out on Instagram because I am more active there, kind of more on the daily basis. We talk all things online business there and wellness as well. So I would love for you to join me over on Instagram as well. Okay, so now you guys kind of understand the backstory. Let's go ahead and get into the breakdown. On July 19th, I hit my eligibility requirements to become monetized officially through Google AdSense. And actually the last thing that I hit was my 4,000 watch hours. If you watched my other video, you know that. I was at 2,000 subscribers at that point. And since July 19th and the filming of this video in basically mid-December, I've only posted eight more videos. I think that's important to know um, just to A, be realistic and B, so that you kind of understand these numbers. Now, I will say at the very beginning of October, I committed to posting once a week for the next year. Um, so about two and a half months into that, I haven't missed a week and I have like six more videos teed up. So I think I'm on track to meet that goal. But I just need you guys to understand too that like in six months, I only posted eight additional videos since becoming monetized and I was still able to achieve these numbers. So that first month monetized, basically the month of August, I had 41.4 thousand views. I gained 1,900 subscribers and ultimately that first month monetized, I made $263. <laughs> I will say though, eventually it takes longer than that to get your check because you have to do this whole verification. But when you hold that first um, check in your hand, it's actually the check goes automatically in your bank account. But the um, pin that they send you, it is quite an exciting feeling. In September, I had 56.6 thousand views and I gained 1,700 subscribers. So it's kind of interesting that I had more views but gained less subscribers and sometimes that's just how it goes. And I made a revenue of $542. So again, it's interesting because my views definitely were not double what they were the month before, but the revenue from my AdSense was double. So sometimes that's interesting too, because how much you're going to make from AdSense is dependent on a lot of things. I talk about that a lot in the other videos as well, but things like uh, CPM, CPR, uh, the demographics of who's watching your videos, all the things like that. And also YouTube is just kind of learning which kind of advertisers want to advertise on your videos. So just keep that in mind. There are things when it comes to AdSense monetization that are largely out of your control. I think it's just important to know that. So in October, I dropped way down because at this point I hadn't posted a video in over two months. I had just under 20,000 views and I only gained 861 subscribers. However, despite all of that, I was able to maintain my Google AdSense revenue at $543, which again is kind of interesting. So in November, things get kind of interesting because at this point I had started posting again consistently and I was at exactly 30,000 views and gained 1,300 subscribers and my ad revenue jumped way up there to $879. I still have over a week left in this final month of my six months, um, but I am on track to do about roughly exactly what I did in November. So overall in total, in the first six months monetized from July 19th until today, I have 
168,000 views. I've gained 6,500 subscribers. And then my total amount from Google AdSense revenue is $2,721. I don't know, what do you guys think? Is it more or less than you maybe would have guessed? It is kind of crazy, so much work goes into it and the numbers, they, they kind of are what they are. But we're not done here. I also just want to share my affiliate income as well because it is over double what I earned from AdSense. So I promote three major companies and softwares and things that I love. So when I promote something, I only promote things that I've used myself and love myself. There are three major companies that I promote through my YouTube channels. So from those companies, um, from one, I earned uh, by far the most at $5,589. Uh, one of the software companies that I promote, uh, $412. And another software company that I promote, $772. I can't show you guys screenshots of that because a lot of affiliate um, companies have this agreement where you can't show screenshots of their back end, which is fine, but hopefully you guys can just take my word for it. And that gives us a grand total of $6,773 from affiliate. Um, income, which is twice what my Google AdSense revenue was. So I think it's just important to know that there is other ways to monetize your channel. You can monetize before you're eligible for Google AdSense. And ultimately it's the heavy hitting income stream more so than pure ads. I also just want to say that I did only include revenue directly tied back to YouTube with this. I have other branches and arms of my online business. I have other traffic sources, which if you're ever wanting to track exactly where your traffic comes from, I highly recommend Hydros. They're really great for that. So you're not just guessing and you can kind of figure out where you should put your effort on your online business. But that's how you're able to kind of figure out exactly where your traffic is coming from, from the different things that you promote. But all that to say, if you would like like to find out more about affiliate marketing and specifically high ticket affiliate marketing. I just put out a video about that, which you can find um, linked up above. And then if you're very serious about finding out more in online business, I have my application down below, but please serious inquiries only with that. I am busy. Um, as of now, I still work my nine to five, although I just put in my resignation. Um, it's just exciting to get to that point in online business where you're able to take this full time and take that leap leap of faith. Um, and so I know the numbers I shared today don't seem like it's enough to leave a nine to five, but I know I'm not sharing the other portions of my business and um, all that to say, it's an exciting time, but please serious inquiries only with the application down below. And thank you guys for tuning in. I hope today has been an encouragement for you. Um, it's been very transparent. And I also hope it's just inspired you to maybe look at how to monetize your YouTube channel before you hit that official 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours. So um, thanks again, my name is McCall and I will see you guys in the next video.